Whenever the NFL Combine comes around, people want to see who can run the fastest, who's the strongest, and who can jump the highest. But does it really matter? We're going to take a look at the record-setting performances and whether the players who set them went on to Pro Bowl success or football irrelevance. Ryan, let's start with the marquee event, the 40. We know this matters historically to the Raiders, but how important do you think it actually is? I think it's pretty important. It's short bursts of speed, right? The 40's not too far, so I think it's a big factor here. Let's see where this actually wound up. Where are these players? Uh, Chris Johnson, you know, had, had a good NFL career. Everybody knows he's fast. Interesting. Not a lot of names jump out at you right there. You probably see these guys on special teams quite a bit that are just the burst of speedsters. All right, we know you got to be strong to play in the NFL, Robin, but do you have to toss weights around to be successful? The bench press is one of the tests that these guys we've go through. We've all done that one. Yeah, we've all done it. Not like these guys. Let's take a look <laughs> at the biggest best bench performances in here. And look, at you're yeah. seeing a lot of defensive linemen, offensive linemen. Some decent names. These are the big boys. Yeah, that's also, <laughs> though, the, the exercise you do to be impressive, not necessarily one that translates the most directly to on-field strength, yeah. right? Next up, we, we've got the vertical, which may be the most impressive to look at, but does it translate on the field outside of, like, blocking field goals? This is usually a big uh, skill in basketball, well, the yeah. vertical leap. Maybe for wideouts. To be able to out-jump a def defensive back, let's take a look. Mm. I'm not seeing any big games <laughs> there. No I mean, pro, is there who jumps out no. at you right there? One Pro Bowler out of the bunch, yeah, Chris, Chris Chambers. Chambers. And uh, he was probably on special teams as a Pro Bowler, not as a wideout right there. All right, uh, agility to be able to shift gears, shift direction, shift speeds. They got the three-cone drill to highlight that. Important, Robin? Oh, agility is important. I don't know how well cones measure it. Let's see. <laughs> who do we got here? Oh, uh, no pro hey, bowlers, No pro right? bowlers, oh. a couple young guys there. I mean, I would think that one would have been more important, but you're right, the Cohen seems a little old school, doesn't it? All right, finally, the wonder lick. This only seems to come up with quarterbacks and is probably the most controversial. How many of these guys are actually QBs? Uh, give us the answers early here. I think they're going to be I don't want to do a wonder lick to figure it out. few quarterbacks, uh, one, Ryan, just Ryan one pro bowler. Hey, he went to Harvard. Did, Did you know that? Tell you Ryan that? Fitzpatrick <laughs> went to Harvard, and he winds up on the board for the wonder lick. Who would have thought?